All right, so we talked about personal credit and the importance of it, and we briefly covered business credit. Now, if you're over the age of 18, you wanna start establishing business credit if you know that you wanna become an entrepreneur. So what do you need in order to establish business credit? Well, of course, you need to be over the age of 18. You need to have a business. So a business doesn't mean that you have employees. It doesn't mean that you have a location. It doesn't mean that you're making a ton of money. A business simply means that you have an entity. So what I highly suggest is that you create a generic entity like Josh's company or Josh's conglomerate or um, Josh's enterprise or crisp enterprises, just something. You can always change this and maybe you consult with your parents or maybe you pay for an hour of a lawyer or a CPA's time to see what the best structure, depending on where you live and what your goals are, right? Hourly rates are typically 100 to 200 bucks, so you can dish out 100 to 200 bucks to get an expert's advice. This isn't legal advice, I'm not a CPA, I'm not an accountant, but this is something that's gonna help you drastically because you're gonna start building that business credit while you're building personal credit. A big mistake I made was not understanding what business credit was and thinking business credit was tied to personal credit. I finally built up good personal credit Credit, and I thought because I had good personal credit, I would have good business credit and it doesn't work that way. You're literally starting from scratch. So if you do them both simultaneously, you're gonna have a head start upon literally where I was and where a ton of people are at your age. So create an LLC, you can do so for you know under $1,000. Sometimes you can go directly to your city and do it for under 100 bucks. And once you have that entity, go create a business bank account at your local financial institution and ask for a business line of credit and you can do a secured if they won't give you a non-secured and also ask them for a business credit card. Now, it's best to do this with an institution where you're doing your personal stuff. So in the other video, we talked about Capital One. We also talked about your financial institution, your credit union. So if you're using a credit union or a local bank or a standard large bank or you're using Capital One, whoever you're using for your personal, reach out to them first for your business and chances are they're gonna use you as the personal guarantor, they're gonna look at your credit, they're gonna look at your credit history and they're gonna say, okay, you're approved, this is what we can do or you're not approved, this is what you need to do in order to get approved, try back at this time. Remember guys, in life, no does not mean that, hey, you know what, it's not for me, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not approved for it, so on and so forth. No means next opportunity. So just because you may not get approved on the first time, guess what? Work on your stuff, be diligent, try back. No means next opportunity. Now that you have your personal credit, when you wanna go get a car or an apartment or a house, or you wanna go do things, you're gonna get good rates, right? Rates today on lending are usually based upon your credit score, right? Now when it comes to business, the good thing about business is you have more leverage with your business credit. With personal, we talked about utilization. On credit cards, you don't wanna go above 30% or it's gonna be a red flag and your credit score is gonna drop. On business, you can tap into 100% of that leverage. So without diving into a rabbit hole, because that could be a whole nother series around increasing business evaluation, so on and so forth, moral of the story is your personal credit and your business credit are completely different and don't wait till you have a business and you need to get leverage to start because then you may have good personal credit and then now you're starting from ground zero again. I remember I was naive, my family didn't have good credit, nobody in my family were entrepreneurs or business owners and I learned a lot of this stuff from going to the banks, going to the banks, I would just ask them questions and be a fly on the wall and when my businesses became successful at an early age, I was in my early 20s, they were seeing the money come into my bank account, they were seeing me buy houses, I was flipping two or three houses a month I was buying apartments cash. I had multiple businesses at the time. I was doing very well in my businesses and my banker was always telling me, hey, you need to tap into business credit. You need to get a business credit card. Hey, let's see what business line of credit we can get you. And I was always, no, 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 I'm paying cash for things. I'm rolling, I'm making good money. If I can't pay for it, cash, blah, blah, blah. I got personal credit, I'm good. And the banker told me that the best time to get a loan or the best time to get a line of credit or the best time to get a credit card is when you do not need it. So take that word of advice, almost a decade later I can tell you if I could go back, I would have took that advice, I would have built my personal credit and my business credit simultaneously and I would have utilized that leverage. Just because you get a business loan or a business line of credit or a business credit card and the same goes for your personal does not mean that you need to use it. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. This is a huge mistake that I made 
when I was in my early 20s and when I was new to entrepreneurship and just credit in general, they don't teach this stuff in traditional education. And this is stuff that is very, very important. So if you got any value whatsoever, please smash that like button. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we're doing something and we're offering value. It helps the channel out tremendously. If you're not subbed yet, smash that red sub button right now. Next to it, click the notification bell because every single week, we're dropping new videos that are gonna help you increase your income, your impact, and your influence. I'll see you in the next video.